You see these things that look like trees? Well, they could be the future. The future of solar energy, the future of park design. You can put them in cities and you can put them in schools. These are called acacias. They're named after the tree found in Africa's savanna. Their sculptures give shade, provide light, and at the top are solar panels. They were installed at Wick Playfield in May. This is generating something of quantitative value and that's the power. The other aspects of it, the lighting, the shade, everything else are essential to modern public space design. Brian Graff is the CEO and founder of Solar Forma Design, an Eau Claire based company that designs and builds the acacias. The three trees help produce power all throughout the park. So another cool thing about these trees is if you had an equivalent amount of solar panels on the ground, you'd take up a bunch of park space, walking space. You'd probably have to have a fence around it so people can't meddle with it. But these trees, you put the solar panels on top, leaves so much more room for activities. These are functional pieces of art. Brian hopes that helps them become more popular. Renewable energy, which is rightfully under speculation as to whether it can do what it needs to do to provide our energy needs. And by integrating it into human spaces, we can create confidence in that energy, confidence in that technology, and we can inspire adoption and uptake. Other acacias are at Discovery World in Milwaukee, in Sheboygan, and Eau Claire. Some are scheduled to be built in Madison and Houston, Texas. Interest is growing among schools, municipalities, and parents like Tom Serafin trying to escape the summer heat. Brutal, like the absolute worst. These trees give him and his family a break from the sun. Have a little shade here on a, on a hot day is great. But that art, shade, and power generation comes at a pretty high cost, $135,000 to $140,000 per tree. Solar Forma Design said there are federal and local incentives that can reduce the price. In Milwaukee, James Groh, TMJ4 News.